Look at that spiky. Spiky thing. Do those get you? So it wasn't a snake. It's a starfish. He actually has a frowny face. It's kind of amazing. You see his face? You don't have to scare us off, but we're intimidated. It's fine. We don't want to miss you. <laughs> hey guys! So, I've been a little MIA for the past a week and a half or so. Yeah, so I was just feeling kind of like blah, and I didn't think that you guys would want to see that on camera, so <laughs> I did not film a vlog last week, but I am feeling better now. So I'm about to run some errands. I need to take these books back to the library, do our grocery shopping for the week. I have my list in my purse, which I've been procrastinating a little bit on getting my week started. Uh, I usually do my shopping and everything on Monday, but it's Tuesday and here we are. <laughs> but it should be a good day, so I'm gonna hit the road. So I got quite a few books this time. I got The Last House Guest, which is going to be like a mystery thriller. And then I have The Power of Habit and Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. Um, this just looked really interesting to me. And then the Smoke Jumper, which is by the same author who wrote The Horse Whisperer and The Loop. So I had to get another one of the Western fiction type of books. I'm super excited to see how that one goes. And 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do. So I've got quite a mix here. This should keep me busy for the next few weeks. Hey guys, so I just got back home and brought all my groceries upstairs. Had my little workout, three flights of stairs with groceries is a lot. Um, but yeah, it is raining. It's actually really pretty outside. And Lily's watching the rain. Gosh, I love this cat. You guys, she's having her surgery to get spayed on Friday. I know, Lil. And I'm actually super stressed about it because I have to drop her off on Friday morning and then I can't pick her up until the next day. So I have to leave her overnight for this surgery. Um, I guess they just wanna take care of her and make sure that she's okay. Like in the States, if I got a cat spade, I could always pick them up the same day. So I have to leave my baby at the vet for 24 hours. And she's never been apart from us that long and like, to be honest, she's kind of a needy cat. Like, she sleeps in our bed. She is constantly with us. Um, we even take her places sometimes. So, I'm kind of sad about it. But, she'll be okay. I know it's, I know she'll be fine, but it just makes me nervous. Now, I'm going to fold all of this laundry. I had some clothes washing and drying while I was gone. And then I'm going to chill before I teach some classes. And this is something was wrong. You think you know me? I stopped by the post office today and our cat anti-scratching like sticky sheets came in the mail. So this is what they look like and it's like a double-sided sticky sheet. I just put the first one on this part of the couch and now I am going to go and put another one on back here. But the goal is to teach her to stop scratching the furniture and to just scratch her cat castle, cat tree thing. Um, because she has like this whole thing to scratch. She also has like a couple other things. And there's more of these around the house. But 
Yeah, we're just trying to get her to scratch certain things and not our furniture. Because she's not as bad about the couch, but she's ruining the tatami furniture. You can see right here. And she has also started to scratch parts of the walls, like right here. Which, she didn't leave these marks. There were already scratches in the apartment before we got here. But I just do not want her to destroy, like, anything. Because we don't want to have to pay for it. Hey guys! So, it is Thursday morning. And I am about to do a little bit of a home workout. I just don't have it in me today to actually go to the gym and, like, do some workouts. So... I'm going to try to do a little something at home. I have my yoga mat here, and I'm gonna try and do some body weight exercises. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling very tired and very cloudy today. My sleep is not going well at all. I am waking up a lot at night. I can't go back to sleep. I'm just, I just don't feel great. <laughs> There's like zero rhyme or reason to the workouts that I'm doing. Um, I'm not even doing like consistent numbers or consistent sets. I'm just trying to move my body. But I think this is helping because I feel like more energized right now. Um, and I think that I'm thinking a little bit more clearly. Like, I don't really just knock my book off the table. Like, uh,. I don't feel as foggy as I was when I first started, so I'm going to keep doing this, keep listening to my podcast, probably do this for another 10 minutes and then that'll make it like a 20 minute workout. Leo, come here. Can you hear her? Whoa. Whoa. Lily, do not get on that table. Don't do it. No. Leo, stop it. No. <laughs> Yikes. I'm about to have some leftovers for lunch, which is actually more rice than anything else, but <laughs> I have a little bit of salmon and a little bit of broccoli. Um, our friends, Candace and Andrew, actually came over last week and gave us this kimchi. They actually brought over a bunch of little like foods that they like, so I'm really excited to try them, but this is gonna be my first time trying this kimchi. Hmm. I think they said that it was, so it had some sriracha sauce in it, or it tasted like sriracha. Yes, I love kimchi. Just gonna grab some of this, throw it in here. It smells good. It's so good. Like, I could just eat it out of the tub by itself. It's delicious. Hey guys, it's Friday, and welcome back to another day in the weekly vlog. So, Today has been such a tough day. I took Lily to the vet this morning for her appointment. She is getting spayed today, but they want to keep her overnight to keep an eye on her. So, I don't know. It was just so hard to leave her there. She's never really been without us for any extended period of time. I mean, the most we've ever been gone from the house is even a few hours. So, I just felt really bad leaving her there, and like, she just kept looking at me like, Where are you going, Mom? <laughs> Don't leave me here. Oh, it was so tough. So, like, I've been <laughs> kind of an emotional wreck all day. Um, I think I have it together now, so I decided to jump on here and tell you guys about it. But, <clears throat> she should be in surgery right now. Um, 
he wanted her dropped off in the morning, but her surgery wasn't actually until 3 o'clock. So she'll be done, and then she'll stay overnight, and then we can pick her up tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I'm excited to have her back. It's so weird not having her here, even for a day, because, like, she's my buddy. Like, I don't know. I feel like she's another person. I talk to the cat, like, all day, <laughs> and she actually talks back. Today, Garrett has been doing his, like, class stuff at home. They're doing online learning right now. So, he was home, and he just finished up with class, and we are going to get ready for a date night here pretty soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready, and I will show you guys the final look. We were doing our class psychology elements, supposed to be psychology elements. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of concepts. I literally read that while you were having class. It's uh, that's actually pretty sweet. Control for themselves, mm -hmm. but they also have like situational, circumstantial locuses and their loci of control. A so, healthy person is supposed to be uh, by something, by by locus, maybe? I don't know. By loci, yeah. yeah. So you, a healthy person isn't a hundred percent everything in my life is my fault. Yeah. But a healthy person is also like nothing's my fault. Yeah. Yeah. A I healthy, that... successful person tends to lean towards more towards the internal side, though. Yeah. Basically, you can work hard enough and do what you need to do. Which that I realized today that I am definitely internal locus. And that has, like, been to my detriment at some points because I will actually work myself into, like, being stressed out. Yeah. Which I think is what happens to most people, so you have to have that healthy balance. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we learned the same thing today. It is cool. Yeah. Yeah, so locus and control is a really important concept. Um, you can actually track people's political needs, too, typically based off of their... Uh, predominant like local a uh, local control direction really yeah for the most part so what's like a what are the which side is which side um typically the further external somebody goes the more likely to be better they are and the really further internal somebody goes the more right there uh, typically um with some exceptions and again everybody's on a gradient so like on the typical scale which is external to internal 100 point scale, I'm about an 81. Did you take a test? Yeah. Can um, I take a test? Yeah. Oh! We can, we can do that when we get home. It's super easy. It's like. We should do that every dinner. That's what we should do. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so, people with internal focused locuses tend to be much more successful than people with external focused locuses of control. Mm. Um, because. Interesting. Radical ownership, self-ownership, is a big deal. less than pleased. She's trying to escape. I think she has to use the litter box because she's being really frantic. We're almost home, B. We're almost home. Oh my goodness. You hungry? You need to use the litter box? What you need? Hi. She's purring. <laughs> Is she? Yeah. I was like, she's used to her fancy smancy wet food. If they give her dry food for breakfast, she's probably not gonna eat it. She's been hungry since five. <laughs> <laughs>